So today we're going to do another full mouth extraction using the innovative physics forceps. So why don't we start with the central incisor. These teeth are very decayed and uh, let's show you the technique. I'm going to use my left hand. I'm a right-handed dentist, but for video demonstration, it might be clear for you to see the using my left hand. And again, we're videotaping, so I apologize for for any uh, inconsistencies. So what I have is the beak engaged onto the palatal surface and the bumper high up the vestibule as possible. Then I'm simply using really just two fingers or a finger and a thumb and I'm rotating my wrist, rotating my wrist. There's no forearm pressure, there's no bicep pressure. I'm just rotating my wrist slowly, 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 rotating my wrist towards me. Not moving my arm, not squeezing like a typical forcep, but simply rotating my wrist, rotating my wrist. And it may take a minute or two, which is a long time for us general dentists. And again, you can see I'm really putting no pressure on the forcep. I'm not squeezing it. I'm simply rotating my wrist. It's going to take a minute or two. Rotating my wrist a little slowly. give it time and it just popped it just popped so I just got some movement and I'm just rotating a little bit more and you can actually see the tooth move a little bit now the forcep is not intended to remove the tooth in total rather to it creates hyaluronidase which simply um, breaks down the PDL fibers or the septal fibers which allows extraction. Now I'm also going to put implants in this area so the buccal plate is very important to me. And I'm just simply rotating, rotating, and look at the length of that tooth. That's got to be an inch long. And the buccal plate is totally intact. So just an amazing extraction. Let's do an anterior one first um, to demonstrate. And our patient knows if anything I do bothers her, she's just going to go ahead and raise her hand. So what I'm demonstrating is I have the beak of the physics forcep engaged on the lingual surface of the root. I have the bumper engaged on the facial surface deep into the vestibule. There's not a lot of room here. And I'm really holding this forcep with two fingers. And if you could just uh, scan back a little bit, Kristen, that would be wonderful. And just to show my hands and how I'm really holding it with a thumb and one finger. And this is just a leverage finger. And what I'm doing is simply rotating my wrist. No arm pressure at all, no bicep pressure at all. I'm just rotating my wrist towards the facial rotating my wrist towards the facial. I'm not using this like a typical forcep, so there's no force here. Okay, you can get back close up there. And I'm rotating, and now it may take a minute. Now that's a long time for a dentist. I'm gonna have you turn your head just a little bit towards Marina. There you go. And you can see the tooth, and I'm just rotating my wrist, rotating my wrist. Gotta take your time here. Can you lift your chin up just a little bit for me? Just give me a little more room there. Not really putting a lot of pressure at all. Now I felt the tooth, you can see it's starting to move a little bit. It's coming. It's coming. Lift your chin up just a little hair for me. Beautiful. And that tooth just elevated right out of the socket. 
Now granted, this is an anterior tooth and you know, what's the big deal? Um, it is a big deal. There's not a lot of tooth structure there in some of these teeth and you can see there was no physical force at all with my hands or my arms. It really is magic and um, it's something that I truly appreciate as a tool in the office.